from the very beginning of the war, Congress thought it had an advantage in marksmanship, and it authorized the formation of ranger companies comprised of riflemen from the western fringes of the colonies who were very skilled in this marksmanship. Over the course of the war, these riflemen, these ranger units, would become the elite formations inside of the Continental Army. They would become regulars who were very skilled with their rifles. There were also militia units that were equipped with rifles that could also be very skilled marksmen, but they wouldn't necessarily have the same training and discipline to make them capable of offensive actions.